Let's take a look at mileage charts. So you could get um, a table where you need to calculate the distance between two cities and the mileage chart might look a little bit like this. Now they're quite clever these. Um, so if you want to work out the distance say between London and Newcastle and that's obviously the same distance as the distance between Newcastle and London, just go down from London and go across from Newcastle and see where they coincide. So London goes down to to there and Newcastle goes across to there. So the distance from London to Newcastle is 286 miles. If you are asked what's the mileage or what's the distance between Manchester and York, where does Manchester and York coincide? And that would be 67. You could get questions which might ask you uh, what the greatest distance is between which two cities. Well, just look in here for the biggest number here. The greatest number is 286 and that tells us that the greatest uh, distance is between London and Newcastle and therefore the shortest distance is between Manchester and York because that is only 67 miles which is smaller than every other number. You might need to make a data table so imagine you're taking an order for yourself and for your four friends and you've only got a choice of four meals and you need to design a suitable data table so there's four options and you're taking an order for you and your four friends. So, I mean, there's many ways you could do it, but a nice easy way would be just to do something along these lines here. So you've got your four options here of your four different types of curry, and maybe you're going to put in your initials here. So you know who's ordered what. And now all you need to do is to put a tick in each column. So DC might want beef madras, PA wants chicken jalfrizi, ZF also wants beef madras, oh, sorry I've just used these as just random initials of random people, AD wants the vegetable biryani and CD also wants the beef madras and now you can just work out the total so the total number of chicken jalfrizi is just one, lambuna zero, beef madras three, vegetable biryani one so this should add up to five, one, two, three, four, five, perfect for the five people uh, and now it's quite easy for us to phone that order through to the curry house. Now we just know it's one chicken jalfrizi, three beef madras and one vegetable biryani. Of course, that seems a bit over the top just for five people ordering from a choice of four things. But if there were, was a greater number of people and a greater choice, then um, this type of data table would be uh, very valid. So again, the key thing is just to make sure that it's sort of labeled correctly and that you've got the option to stick in your totals as well.